right, this function g of x says it's from negative 3 to 3. It has a couple of derivatives, first and second, and a bunch of information is given in this table. So g prime, you should know, represents the slope of the function at any given point. And then g double prime represents the concavity of the function. So the slope at negative 2 is 0. The slope at 1 is 0 on g of x. That's what this means here. From negative 3 to negative 2, the slope is negative, which means the function's going down. And then the slope is 0 right here. And then from negative 2 to 1, it's positive, which means the function's going up. And then it's 0 again. And then it goes down, the negative part g of x, g prime of x, has a positive inflection, which means it's an up bowl shape. The shape is an up bowl. A zero inflection, zero, which means there's probably a point of inflection, which there is. It changes from positive concavity to negative concavity, which means it's a point of inflection. So it changes concavity right there at negative a half. Okay, so let's answer some questions. Write down the value of x for which g has a maximum. Well, it's either got to be negative 2 or 1 because those are the only two times that the slope is 0, and the slope at a maximum is 0. So it goes from going up to down, which would mean you can see it sort of happening here that, this, that that's a maximum. So that's at x equals 1. On the intervals, uh, on which intervals is the function g decreasing? You can see right here that this represents a slope that's negative, which means it's decreasing. So that's negative 3 is less than x is less than a half, negative 2 and 1 is less than x is less than 3. Write down the value of x for which the graph has a point of inflection. Well we just talked about that. Here we have a C, we see it goes from concave up to concave down. That's at x equals negative a half. And then let's sketch the graph. So we have a graph negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so the function, you can see here the function from negative 3 to negative 2 is going down. So negative 3 to negative 2 is going down. From negative, uh, at negative 2 the slope is 0. From negative 2 to 1 it's going up. Negative 2 to 1 it's going up like that. And then, um, and then it's going down from 1 to 3, from 1 to 3, something like that. So we can see that we have a minimum at this point and a maximum at that point. And you see right here there's a point of inflection at negative a half. So right there at negative a half, we have a point of inflection. So uh, I'll, I'll fix these points here in a second. Um, let's just graph this in green. So it's going down minimum, point of inflection, maximum, going down. And then I think there gives some sort of coordinate here. Negative 3 is 1. So at negative 3, it's 1. So we can just, let's say that this is 1 right here, and we can uh, move our graph down accordingly. The rest of it doesn't really matter if it goes above or below. They just said that it needs that one point right there. And we can get rid of this other stuff that helped us graph it. And there's the question.